Hi everyone, Kelt here, bringing you my thoughts on the royal family and today I'll be trying to answer some of your questions in the comments section of my last video. Someone asked if I thought that the big reveal would happen. I'm assuming this is regarding the injured lady um, who suffered at the, allegedly suffered at the hands of Harry. Well, it's being rumoured that she's going to speak out and also produce photos of her injuries, which I understand are horrific, or were horrific, leaving her with severe brain damage. I was also asked where this was, whether it was in Montecito, Afghanistan or Britain. I don't know for sure where this specific incident was. I believe there were girls in Afghanistan who have this horrific treatment and also one in the UK. I know that there was more than one incident and there was another one in LA. This apparently was the worst of the lot and whoever she is, she will need a lot of support if she comes out with all this. I wonder what excuse Harry will give if she does. I do feel that his unwise comment numbering his kills in Afghanistan, which could make him a security risk, is going to be overshadowed by this reveal if this poor girl is, is from Afghanistan. Because I'm pretty sure they would want some sort of revenge. While I believe he only took out virtual villagers on his computer, I believe the attacks on young women might be true. So he didn't get to pillage, but he did get to do the other despicable act. Several of you ask about when several of you ask about when the details will be released by this young woman, and I have heard that it should be this weekend or early next week. Someone else asks, how can the publishers publish a book knowing all the lies and can people get their money back? I think the publishers don't care if there are lies in the book, but I would have thought that it has to be written by the person claiming to be the author. And if Megan did take over, i.e. fire the ghost, wife, ghost writer halfway through and then take over the, take over the rest of the book, then I think people have every right to contact the publisher and demand their money back. That's just my opinion, which might not be right. Someone else asked about the text messages between Megan and Kate, and yes, you're right. If it was a true text message, it would not show the names of both people. It would show Megan's, if it was Megan's screenshot, then it would show Catherine's name, but not Megan's. Unless Megan changed Catherine's name to be Kate on her phone, which she could do, and she probably did. It was obvious that it was fake, that the names were put there like that might have been to emphasise the point. From what I gathered, the actual conversation was the conversation between them. But then if she faked the screenshot, then she could have faked the whole conversation. And I wouldn't put it past her, because if she posted something that Kate did not actually say, it might be her way of trying to push Catherine into a response. But so far, she has not responded. And let's hope this continues as it is the only way to rise above it. Someone else asks if Harry's push for extra, extra security is connected to all the stuff coming out about his violence to others, women in particular, and him hoping for immunity from prosecution. I don't think any extra security and protection Harry could get would protect him from paying the price for any crimes he might have committed. His security would only be a delay tactic. I would think that the only thing Harry could use would be his mental health. And if it was that bad, then he should never have been enlisted. If it developed during his time in Afghanistan, then he should have been sent home as a disabled vet. I believe he was sent home, but the reason had to be something that would make him look like a hero, not a villain. All the covering up and paying off by the royals and the military it was not going to stay covered up forever. The truth always comes out. Another question from someone is, is it all games? Will it sell more books? Yes, I think there's always been that interest in making money off anything they do, so it must be part of it. And much of it is so far-fetched, written by those who wish to wake the public up to the real story, I think, personally. Another viewer asks, is Harry gay and is there a marriage, and is it a marriage of convenience? I think Harry is probably bi, and many other things, but I'm not a psychologist, and as far as the marriage of convenience goes, I think absolutely, but I think Harry was drawn into believing he was in love with Meghan, 
and Megan, um, I mean, as much as he can love anyone, whereas Megan has always been in love with being queen of the world and herself. Another question from someone saying, does a certain three-letter agency have the ability to check the birth details regarding number six and number seven to the throne to ensure that they are genuinely in the line of succession? I believe that there was a check done on Harry and that he is Prince Charles's son, and this happened some years ago. Yes, it could have been faked, but I think, or they could have faked it, but I think that he resembles him nowadays, and he definitely resembles his late grand grandfather, Prince Philip. As far as any children being in line to the throne, then I think that this will be coming out before long, that there are no genuine offspring of Harry's to be in the line of succession. I believe there could possibly be children that have his DNA, unlikely due to his childhood operation, but not, not impossible, especially if they both went for IVF and a surrogate. But nothing about the way that they could have come about, if they are genuine, would have made them authentically in line for the throne. And this viewer says that it would reflect poorly on the royal family and the government, etc. And yes, it would. And it does, and it's not over yet, in my opinion. Someone else asks, how could Harry kill 25 Taliban if he was secure in a bunker? Exactly. As I said, he was on his computer, and everything he did in that respect was make-believe. To the person asking, have I ever seen a banyan tree? It would be impossible to bury anything under the roots. Yes, I agree. I have seen one. I have my photo taken under one in Spain, and the ground is rock-hard, and it's all roots above the ground. So yes, you're right, this was all make-believe. Someone else has asked me why Meghan would take photos of Charlotte in her bed sleeping. My thoughts are that Meghan was so elated to have finally nailed her prince, and in her mind, her future of becoming queen of the world, that she was getting carried away with herself and taking photographs of Princess Charlotte when she was sleeping in bed, as she also took photographs of rooms and objects in Kensington Palace previously, whereby she was kicked out. This was all part of her looking for photographs that she could sell. It would give her ammunition for the future, probably, and definitely money and po possibly leverage. Who knows what went on in her mind? Probably at that moment, it was more of a bragging thing, something she wanted to send via her phone to her mother or her handler, to say, guess where I am? Very scary and concerning. To all those questioning whether Harry actually killed 25 Taliban, no, he didn't. No, he didn't walk around the helicopter to check how many he killed. It was all on his laptop computer game. They would not let Harry have a real gun. Harry could not fly a helicopter, well, not more than a few yards anyway. He had no pilot's license. They allowed him to fly a, a short circuit over the base as a co-pilot. I think the military could see that Harry was an absolute liability and it's a shame that they had to put up with him. Another question is, why don't we also out Andrew? All in good time. Andrew was just a small fish in a massive pond and it will all come out at the right time, in my opinion. Another question, is Harry making it all up? And is it all for attention? My answer is, yes, it is made up, most of it. And it's all for a good reason, which will become clear in time. Another question is, how did Meghan manage to save the texts? I would think that she probably screenshot all her texts between herself and Catherine and any other of the senior royals as future evidence. It's pretty easy to screenshot um, texts. You can just scroll down and screenshot them and just save them in your files into your photos so she's i guarantee that megan has probably had dozens hundreds thousands maybe even photographs of the royals and of the texts and all the com all the communication between her and harry even because she's going to use it against him just just give it time and william and catherine especially She's got the lot. You can guarantee that. She might claim to be forgetful, but she's very cunning. So thanks for watching this and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.